Okay, so what I want to do today is really just talk about foiling and show you three different ways besides the way that I did in my original video to foil. So, because I know a lot of people don't like my method or it's not easy for them or something like that. And I've heard of a lot of different ways that people foil. So maybe one of these would be easier for you or work better for you. So I just wanted to demonstrate three that I've heard of. Um, and okay, so the first one I'm going to show you is the method where you put on the color you want to foil dry first. So you just make a nice base of it dry. And I'm just using my regular um, contour brush here um, to put kind of a heavy coat on here. I think this probably would work best if you had um, a good amount on there. You don't want just a very light layer and then try to do this because I don't think it will work very well. Um, so you just put like a good amount on there and then get it where you want it. Okay. And then take a brush. I'm going to use my the usual one that I usually use, which is just a concealer brush from Target. It's a synthetic brush. But you could also use the wet dry brush if you wanted to, I think. Um, I think if you use the wet dry brush, it's going to be really important that you make sure that it's only damp and not wet because this can actually hold a lot of water. So you're going to want to take the towel and just kind of, you know, squeeze it or something so that it's just damp. Um, this method I don't think will work very well if your brush is too wet. In fact, if it's too wet, it'll just kind of make a mess on your eye. So you just want to kind of take the towel and then squeeze most of the water out. So now it's kind of, it's damp to the touch and then I guess you just go over the area. You don't put any more color on uh, and you just go over the area. So this will, I guess, create a foiling. I don't really think it does, I don't know, I don't like the effect. I don't think it's intense enough. But if you're, if you like to do sort of more subtle looks or something like that, but you, and you want just a little bit more intensity or you just want to bring out um, some of the sparkle in a color, this might do it for you. And that would be enough to give you the effect that you wanted. Um, I don't think it, if you were trying to copy a lot of my looks, I don't think this would really create the effect that I get a lot of times. So, um, but this is one way to do it. Okay. Okay, so the second way we're going to look at is something that I think Pimacia mentioned in a video. Um, and a lot of people sort of, you know, decided it was a good idea. And it's a pretty interesting idea. So you take a baby wipe, and this is just like the Target brand ordinary baby wipe. I guess you could get the fancier ones too. Maybe they're a little more moist than these are. Um, and all you do is you take a brush that's dry. This is the wet dry brush and it's dry. Um, and kind of swipe it on the baby wipe. I'm gonna swipe it on both sides like that. And it kind of gets your brush just a little damp. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then what people do is kind of just dip it into the color a little bit so you have a little bit on your brush like that and then they go straight from the dip right to the eye so you just use the dampness of the brush from the baby wipe and voila you kind of now it, it seems to get dry pretty quickly um, but it does really give you that foiled effect. So if one of your problems with foiling is controlling the amount of moisture you have, like the drops just don't work because you dip it and then you've got too much and, you know, it just, you can never get the right proportions, this might be a good way to do it. Because now I didn't get very far. You can see I only got to about right here with the foiled. So you're going to have to go back again and kind of wipe it again on the baby wipe and then dip um and do the rest so but this blends pretty well and it leaves your brush damp so that does also help with blending so you can easily kind of blend it back and then you also have a dry brush pretty soon after so if you like this brush a lot and um you want it to be dry again it probably wouldn't take very long to dry off um, 
but you do get a nice foiled effect and I like it. Um, if it's too thick, you might just have to go back over it a little bit. Um, the one thing I don't like about these methods, my, personally, is just that I think I find that I get too much on there and then it looks a little too thick and I don't know. And then I feel like I have to go back and sort of try to smooth it out a little bit and then it doesn't look right and then I have to do it again. So, um, but this comes out pretty smooth and I like it. I think, you know, I would use this, especially if you're in a really big hurry and you can't bother with all the drops and whatnot, this would be perfect. You could just take this out, do that, and then if you don't like what you've done, you can always use the baby wipe and <laughs> take it off. So, okay, that's way number two. Okay, way number three, um, I'm going to go back to using my concealer brush. I just ran this under the tap, so it's pretty wet, and I'm going to do the same thing I did before, is just kind of... Um, squeeze it between the towel to get some of the moisture out. Then I'm going to dip it. I would tap off any excess that you have, like when you, you've dipped it in there, just because it does kind of cake on there a little bit. Um, and you're going to get a little bit of fallout, maybe. Um, and then just go straight to your eye and foil it on there. What's nice about this is that the brush is wet enough at this point that you can really sort of basically what you're doing is mixing the water with the eyeshadow on your eyelid so you can blend it out and it's moist enough that you can really you know take your time doing this maybe that's one advantage over the baby wipe is you just have a little more moisture to work with so if you're finding the baby wipe a little too dry this might be a good method um, And that gives you a nice bright foil as well. So there's that version. Another, I, alternatively, I guess a little variation on that theme is you could just damp, make the brush damp under the tap and then kind of dry it off in the towel and then dip and then mix like in a bowl or something right there and then do the foiling on your hand or doing the foiling on your eye. So you have like a little extra step. So it's maybe more evenly distributed on the brush. Uh, so if you find that you're kind of making a mess of yourself or getting it like a little too high, I think I went a little too high there, um, you might want to just mix it first and then do the foiling. So um, those are at least three more ways. If I think of any more ways, maybe I'll do another video about foiling. So, um, and you could use the same techniques, the baby wipe technique or um, the dampening the brush and, and then dipping and then I would mix first if you're going to do it for liner. So, you know, but you could use all those same techniques for doing the liner wet. Um, okay, well, I hope that's helpful to somebody. <laughs> Thanks for watching.